In the depths of the universe, there's a massive force pulling everything, dragging all galaxies, including the Milky Way, towards the unknown. But that's not all. Astronomers may have found something even more mysterious. What is this unknown force? Will it doom everything in the universe to oblivion? Let's find out together. Thanks to modern technology, astronomers are making groundbreaking discoveries. Today, we'll look at something located outside the Milky Way, in the direction of the Erboga constellation. The region around our galaxy, filled with gas, dust, and stars, obstructs Earth's view. Astronomers have named this area the Zone of Avoidance. Hidden deep within this zone is something called the Great Attractor. With the advancements in X-ray and radio astronomy, the Zone of Avoidance began to be explored. It was discovered that both the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are moving towards the center of a group of local galaxies located in the Virgo Cluster. Apparently, both are heading towards the center of the Laniakea supercluster. The gravitational region in the heart of this massive cluster is the great attractor we just mentioned. Its estimated diameter is about 300 million light years from Earth, and its center is roughly 147 million light years away. Scientists found a large galaxy cluster known as the Setvel cluster behind the cloud of gas and dust in this region. Its total mass is estimated to be about 1,000 trillion times that of the Sun. However, later on, scientists conducting an X-ray study as part of the Clusters in the Zone of Avoidance project discovered far fewer galaxies in the Great Attractor region than previously thought. The mass of the Great Attractor was believed to be more than 10 million billion times that of the Sun. But researchers found its mass to be only about a tenth of the original estimate. It was observed that most of the visible galaxies in the region are affected by the Malmquist bias. In space, the greater the distance, the more objects become too dim to be detected. Hence, only the brightest objects are visible. As a result, some regions of space appear to be populated by denser galaxies. The Great Attractor might, in many ways, be a mirage. Showing us something that doesn't exist, it could be just a void with a slightly higher concentration of galaxies. The gravitational pull of the Great Attractor isn't strong enough to pull local galaxy clusters, so, what's pulling them towards the center of the Laniakea supercluster? Scientists began searching for a structure with a stronger gravitational force and found it soon after. This is the Shapley supercluster, made up of about 8,000 galaxies and approximately 20 clusters, located around 650 million light years from Earth. It was revealed to be the most massive formation within a billion light years of the Milky Way, with a mass equivalent to billions of suns. The Planck satellite, scanning the sky to find the universe's oldest light, has already captured unique images of the Shapley supercluster's core. The largest pink dots display two galaxy clusters, Abel 3558 on the right and Abel 3562 on the left, along with several smaller groups between them. Scientists also modeled a structure opposite the Shapley supercluster. Here, Astronomers discovered a region of extremely low density called the dipole repeller. Due to its immense gravity, the Shapley supercluster repels celestial bodies from this region of space. As a result, the dipole repeller is likely devoid of matter. Less dense regions of space, which repel as much matter as the super-dense regions attract, are associated with the flow we just observed. Even the discovery of the gigantic Shapley supercluster didn't clarify the entire gravitational web scheme in the Great Attractor area. Professor Matthew Collis from the University of Australia believes that a portion of the Milky Way's speed remains unexplained. By calculating the gravitational force of the Virgo cluster, Great Attractor, and Shapley supercluster, the researcher concluded that our galaxy should be moving about 50 kilometers per second slower. Professor Kales suspects that this is due to mysterious structures hidden behind the Milky Way. Scientists might have already found at least one of these. The enigmatic Vela supercluster is located about 850 million light years from Earth, hidden behind a thick cloud of dust and gas. This cluster spans approximately 370 million light years and contains about 100,000 galaxies. If its size is confirmed, the Vela might be the largest supercluster near the Milky Way. The gravitational pull of the Vela supercluster might explain the discrepancy between the Milky Way's actual speed and the speed caused by the universe's expansion. Meanwhile, astronomers have been studying 883 galaxies in the Zone of Avoidance, 
a third of which had never been observed before. The research was conducted with the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. Scientists first discovered a cluster of three galaxies, then two new groups. Each galaxy contains an average of 100 billion stars. The discovery of hundreds of galaxies behind our own means an incredible amount of mass, even beyond scientists' knowledge. Their gravitational forces are likely to affect the speed of neighboring galaxies. But this alone does not solve the mystery. The Milky Way is still moving faster than expected. Researchers are still exploring the nature of the motions of our galaxy and others in the local group, as well as searching for hidden sources of gravity. One theory suggests that dark matter could be here. Clusters of invisible dark matter have the ability to attract galaxies as much as gravitational structures of ordinary matter. On the other hand, it's proposed that galaxies are accelerated by another theoretical force in the universe called dark flow. Dark flow refers to the unexpected movement of galaxy clusters, generally towards an unknown mass outside the observable universe. Scientists from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center analyzed data from over a thousand clusters obtained from the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Satellite, tracing signs of this phenomenon. This is a large-scale study encompassing a significant portion of the observable universe. The authors of the paper noted that dark flow extends deeper into the universe than previously thought, heading towards the Great Attractor and then towards the constellations of Hydra and Centaurus. One theory suggests this mysterious flow might be connected to a hypothetical multiverse. Our universe is believed to have originated from a portion of a primary energy field. If so, many more universes might have formed in other sections. Dark flow might also result from the gravitational pull of a mass from a parallel universe. Scientists are still considering this debated theory. Separately, an international team of astronomers conducted an intriguing study on the Great Attractor. They observed the movements of 10,000 galaxies and clusters located within 350 million light-years from Earth. The scientists tracked the movement of galaxies from when the universe was only 1.5 billion years old to the present day. They calculated the orbits of galaxies in the Milky Way based on their current brightness and positions in space. Based on the results, the researchers designed an interactive model showing the Great Attractor, the region around the Virgo Cluster, and the neighboring Hercules-Pisces supercluster. The model displays how clusters and individual galaxies move towards the gravitational center. Most importantly, scientists predicted the future of all these celestial bodies, including the Milky Way. They found that the universe's accelerating expansion will prevent most clusters from moving to gravitational centers. They even designed an interactive simulation showing the orbits of galaxies in this region in the future. The model spans from the initial formation of galaxies to a time when the universe will be twice its current size. The simulation shows that only a few major mergers will occur in especially dense clusters over the next 10 billion years. For now, we know space holds vast mysteries. The answers we find only lead to more questions. A recent discovery caused a significant stir in the scientific community. At the beginning of 2022, the Meerkat Radio Telescope detected a peculiar and unprecedented signal in the Vela X-1 region of the sky. It seems that dead stars found themselves a resting place 1,300 light years away from Earth. Up to this point, no vibration or activity was observed from stars in that region. So, what was the mysterious object transmitting radio signals from this dormant part of space? Scientists identified it as the neutron star named PSR J0901046. Neutron stars spin around themselves with periods ranging from 1.4 milliseconds to 30 seconds. But as they age, their spin slows down and they stop emitting radio bursts. However, this star took 76 seconds to complete a spin and was still producing radio bursts. This star, having seven different types, left everyone astonished. Scientists stated they'd never seen anything like it before. The weakened PSR, J0901046, is now nearing its end. Its signals began to last only 300 milliseconds, just 0.5% of the star's spin period. Astronomers were fortunate to detect a radio beam from it that lasted only a moment. Some astronomers suggested this star might belong to a rare class of ultra-long period magnetors with strong magnetic fields. If so, the star would confirm the existence of a new class of neutron stars. 
But this wasn't the only star that caught scientists' attention. In the crane Grus constellation, the blue star S5 HVES-1, situated just 29,000 light-years away from Earth, travels through the Milky Way at a speed of 6 million kilometers per hour. That's roughly 10 times the speed of most stars in our galaxy. So, what accelerated this star to such speeds? Researchers traced the star's trajectory back in time and found that it was ejected from the center of the Milky Way, where a black hole resides. Black holes are known to pull celestial bodies into them when they get close enough due to their strong gravitational pull. But it appears black holes can also propel celestial bodies into space at incredible speeds. The star used to be part of a binary system, orbiting a companion star, but they ventured too close to the black hole. The monstrous black hole captured the companion star with its gravity, propelling the blue star outwards at thousands of kilometers per second. Scientists speculated this event occurred roughly 5 million years ago. Yet, there are other stars that defy logic with their inconsistent behavior. The Tabby star in the Swan constellation is known for its brightness. The star orbits about 1,470 light-years away from Earth. It's slightly bigger, hotter, and brighter than the Sun. One of the most captivating stories in recent years involves Tabby. The star became famous in 2015, when the Kepler Space Telescope recorded a decrease in its brightness for several days. Its brightness decreased by about 20% and then slowly started to rise again. Furthermore, Tabby experienced a faint but prolonged dimming. Such phenomena were never observed in stars larger than our Sun. Those who believe in extraterrestrial beings started talking about an advanced civilization in deep space. According to them, these aliens periodically draw energy from the star, causing its light to diminish. However, recent studies from NASA's Spitzer and Swift missions debunked this idea. Astronomers recorded a smaller dimming in Tabby and infrared and proposed their hypotheses regarding the star's abnormal behavior. The cause for the long and faint dimmings was the irregular movement of a dust cloud around the star. Even an object the size of a dust particle could darken the star as it passed in front of it. To date, the exact source of the dust hasn't been determined. Speculations include dust from passing comets, remnants of planet collisions, or interstellar space particulates. The legendary story of the Tabby star doesn't end here. Scientists will continue to study it. Who knows what surprises it might reveal in the future? Something peculiar was noticed in another star in the Milky Way. Researchers discovered a debris disk surrounding a star at the ALMA telescope. Typically, it's not surprising for stars to have remnants left from the formation of their orbiting systems. The thing is, no other star has such a complex debris disk structure. HD 53143 is a yellow dwarf star with about 80% of the Sun's mass and 70% of its brightness. This young star, approximately 1 billion years old, is located in the constellation Carina, 60 light-years away from Earth. Given its age, it's not surprising that HD 53143 still has a debris disk. While these types of disks are usually ring-shaped and resemble the Kuiper belt, this one was elliptical. But the oddities didn't stop there. Later observations revealed astronomers saw another inner disk, misaligned or tilted from the outer one. What was unusual is the larger disk should have been slowly engulfing the smaller one. Scientists eventually proposed a scenario. A hidden object's gravity in the system was allowing the disks to maintain their distance, yet this object had to be at least a large exoplanet. To test their theories, astronomers will have to extensively search around HD 53143 and, if present, hunt for an unknown space object. Now let's move to the Hydra constellation and see what's happening with another star. V. Hydrae, located 1300 light-years from Earth, is nearing the end of its life. Recently, researchers noticed the dying star emitting rotating smoke rings and beams of light. No one was certain why this celestial body did this. Hydrae was once similar in size to our Sun, but it became a red giant as it aged. Over 90% of Sun-like stars follow this evolutionary path. Yet, V. Hydri became the only star in its final stages to emit gas rings similar to smoke rings. Every few centuries, a new ring forms around this carbon star. All six smoke rings, which are about 2100 years old, had long been obscured by a thick dust curtain around the star. They were hard to spot, but in 2022, they were detected with the Atacama telescope. Then, something even more fascinating was spotted in the telescope. 
These were gas bubbles, strikingly shaped like an hourglass, placed in two opposite directions to the star. Apparently, they were formed from the gases ejected at tremendous speeds by V. Hydrae. Where was the dying star getting this energy? A dim star orbiting close to V. Hydrae could have influenced the ejection mechanism. Some of the gas was absorbed in space, creating an incredible hourglass-shaped structure. Quite extraordinary, isn't it? What are your thoughts on all these cosmic events? Can we find a planet like Earth among the stars and black holes one day? We're looking forward to your comments. See you in the next videos.